got us a new video. It's kind of an old one. Not really. This one's called Isekai Fans Are Eating Good This Year. Let's see what he has to say. Actually, this is not Giguk. This is Garnt content. I'd feel so bad for Shield Hero if it comes out this year. Shield Hero Season 4 coming out, and then they'd be like, okay, we got 3 0. We got more slime. We got more Mishoka Tensei. And the Shield Hero guys, come on. Boys and girls, what we're going to be doing today is. The Shield Hero, ah, uh, are you guys still watching Shield Hero Season 1 was peak? I have the reaction saved in my, I think, a backup drive, but my first channel got deleted, so it's kind of lost in time. Season 2 was like, what in the hell is happening? And we covered that, I think, on this channel for a bit, and it was just, ugh. And Season 3 is like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hear that it was actually good. But because people didn't care about Season 2, Season 3 viewership was suffering. And now we go into Season 4... Season 3 was a yikes too. I thought Season 3 was solid. We are going to be going through some of the biggest anime news that has just been announced recently. If you didn't okay. know, Anime Japan was last weekend and we got a whole bunch of new trailers and new anime announcements go. to go through. The first big trailer that we're going to go through is 3-0 Season Woo! 3 has got its first... October and people begging for ReZero content, just do the math. How many episodes are in ReZero? Like 50 some, 54, some shit like that? We're gonna watch ReZero every day so that we catch up to season three just in time. Meaning that this should happen sometime around August, right? If we have all of August and all of September, right? That's roughly 60 days, right? I think that should be enough time to catch up on ReZero in time. And then we go into October hot. First main trailer. I guess the previous one was not even a main trailer. Does anyone remember the teaser trailer? The poor, the poor bird. Aaron just can't catch any Ws, even if he's not in his own series. Hopefully I don't get spoiled here. This fall, it begins October 2024. Which Hell means, yeah. Jesus Christ, Isekai bros are winning this year. We're getting more Mushoku Tensei. We're, getting We're watching that right now. Mushoku Tensei season 2 has been peak ever since the turn. I mean, it's, it's always been good i'm just wanting a little bit more than just school time romance and slice of life but finally turning points happening it's hype getting more slime we're slime? getting more konosuba yeah and now we're getting more re-zero what does data life count as as an isekai it doesn't mio is an isekai character the spirits are isekai characters the, 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 other world if isekai is other world the spirits are coming from a different world to this world are they not isekai? <laughs> I'm trying to stretch. I'm, I'm trying to really do mental gymnastics to make to suggest that Data Live is uh, isekai. But no, no. Konosuba, Mushoku Tensei, Slime. What else do we have going on right now? Skimichi Moonlit Fantasy. Does Gigok have no love for Skimichi Moonlit Fantasy? This is like all of the top isekai sequels that are airing yeah. in one year. We are, we are, we are back. We're eating. Before I say anything further, let's have a look at this trailer, shall we? And I'm going to skip this part because I obviously do not want to get spoiled for ReZero, okay? Uh, looks like the cult is invading. We skipped, we skipped the re-zero, blah, blah, we skipped the re-zero, we skipped the re-zero, we skipped the re-zero, and Apothecary Diaries. Very, very excited to see more of Mau Mau. Um, this doesn't surprise me so much. I don't think- Ah, I- Fuck, I wish we could cover Apothecary Diaries, and we could start- We could honestly attempt it again without, you know, polling for it. Maybe my channel has grown to the point where enough Apothecary Diary and Jurors have shown up. I know that this show is good. Objectively, it's a well-written show. A lot of people have fantastic success on YouTube. Unfortunately, my audience just doesn't care for it because whatever the reason may be, that that's why I kind of dropped it. Not because I don't enjoy it, but because I'm just trying to satisfy the YouTube algorithm. I, I, I want to, if, if it's coming back in 2025, maybe there's a way to reboot, you know, season one after we get bigger and just try to test the waters again. So we have a trade or anything we just have a poster i think what carried winter season for me was all of the second cause that were continuing from fall season apothecary diaries was one of them i'm disappointed that free Ren didn't immediately get a new season two announcement like apothecary diaries did it should be getting it though right was there any hint there what the it's all about money and if it did that well then no shot that it's not going to get a season two it's got to get a season two because i think the trend in anime nowadays is that if an anime is popping off normally they prepare a season two announcement right or near enough to the end of a new season we just like solo leveling right solo leveling immediately did that apoth but freedom didn't why wouldn't they do that even if it was popping off in the charts it was popping up but the dvd sales and everything else was it doing bad i don't know we are getting more apothecary diaries which well deserved well hyped it has gotten the recognition and hype that it deserves mau mau deserves all the attention yeah i'm, I'm very excited speaking of new anime announcements yeah studio mapper 
have just announced a new Ooh. anime and I Oh boy, Studio Mappa, are you guys ready to put these lazy ass animators into work? These goddamn lazy ass animators only working 25 hours a day for our entertainment. Goddamn, get the fuck back into the coal mines. What do Mappa got cooked up for us this time? I believe this is a anime original. Mappa reveals Zenshu, an original Zenshu. Uh let, let him explain. Anime about anime production. That, how out of touch is MAPPA if they're making an anime about anime production, which I'm assuming is really hard because look at the cover picture. It's a girl that is super fucking tired and depressed. I can't even see her face hunched over working probably her 25th hour of the day. So MAPPA is like, hey, I know our reputation is bad here, guys, but how? How about we embrace the meme about how we're a sweatshop and make an anime about us? Surely it's gonna make us, you know, seem better. There's Zenshu, an original mm. anime about anime I about production. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think about MAPPA. Didn't MAPPA decide to, um, didn't some of the head directors leave MAPPA to create their own studio? Even MAPPA is the byproduct of Madhouse, right? Isn't this how this happens where, you know, a studio gets huge, then it gets super corporatized, and then they start, you know, exploiting the workers without no passion or love, then the top directors and animators, they leave, start their own studio, born from passion and love, but at the end of the day, they then kind of sell out, get corporatized, that's what happened to MAPPA, and then they switch to another studio, and then it's just a fucking cycle. It's just a cycle of starting your shit, sell out, starting your shit, sell out. Um, did Mappa just self-report? This show is going to be directed by Mitsu Yamazaki, the no director of Steven Princess in a Demon Castle, which was a is nice, good? comfy show, for what I can remember. After graduating from high school, Natsuko Hirose starts her career as an animator. Her talent quickly flourishes, and she makes her debut as a director in no time. Her first anime becomes a massive hit, sparking a social phenomenon Great. and earning her recognition as an up-and-coming genius director. Her next project is set to be a romantic comedy movie themed around first love. However, having never been in love herself, Natsuko struggles to understand the concept huh. of first love, and as a result, she Okay, so it's less about exploiting workers and more about this newborn and rookie talents trying to make a rom-com without understanding what love is, then she'll probably have to fall in love with somebody to understand what love actually is, and it's gonna be like that. Okay, so it's not what we're thinking about. She's unable to create storyboards, causing the movie production to come to a standstill. Ah, I wonder how they're gonna solve this issue. Well, uh, are they gonna solve this issue being like, hey, tough luck? Let's have a look at this teaser trailer. I wonder <laughs> what if they do something fucked up of like, you know, how the power dynamics of like workers and their employers and like how she's going to fall in love with like a fucking upper, you know, director power level guy. And he's going to like, ex no, 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 that would be way too real. That, 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 that would be not a happy anime. That would be way too real. I don't think Mappa would ever do something like that. Let's look at the trailer. Wait, 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 did she just have her hair? Oh my, how can she see anything? Girl, you live like this? Girl, please. I've seen introverts, uh, and then... What does she look like underneath? Full on She's probably a ring. beauty. <laughs> All right, they are... All right, they are, they that was... Cooking. <laughs> they're cooking? Is it good? <laughs> oh, 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 this looks good. It's looking pretty good. God damn, Whoa. this looks good, man. Well, I <laughs> you can just sense the amount of worker exploitation in these frames, bro. Look how impactful every fucking scene is, man. Oh my goodness. I applaud you, my coal miner animators. Y'all need better fucking working conditions, man. I'm gonna judge that critically. Critically, that looks really good. I don't think there have been too many anime about making anime. Obviously, the one everyone thinks of is Shirobako. This one looks like it's going to be even more beautiful I've never than seen Shirobako. That. What is the focus going to be on? Are they going to be focusing on kind of like what Shirobako did and having a more down-to-earth documentary style playthrough of how this anime gets made? Or are they going to do more of, hey, let's just use making this anime as a segue to tell the story of a girl who finds out her passion for love or whatever emotion. I think it's gonna be the latter. I think it is gonna be the latter, in my opinion. She's trying to- That'll be more entertaining. In this story that she's trying to tell. Either way, it seems like I already like the main character because it seems like she does. <laughs> this is what your standard Isekai fan looks like, man. I hope that- Isekai fans look like that? Are we getting called out? Maybe we're getting called out. Mapper are learning from their previous mistakes. That's that's all I can say. But as for a project, this looks like it generally could be good. Speaking of season two announcement, Chained Soldier coming? has been announced for a- Woo! 
Such a soldier! Teases Yen Ren Yamashiro. And I've been asking who is the you know commander, right? Who who is the like not just the captain, but like the actual commander, right? I, I, and, and no spoilers, but I, I think come on, it's it's, it's gotta be her, right? It, it's gotta be her. And she was like the cover of like the manga panel of the Chain Soldier video that Gigo actually made a video on that I reacted to, and she seems to be the highlight, right? And then the plot was like, okay, we figured out that our sister and them, you know, the humanoid, there were experimentations that went bad. Something about eating the peaches made them go crazy. They're not bad people, but the upper commanders and the experimentation lab people, they are kind of doing some shady things behind the scenes and we might have to actually, you know, fight against them or something. I'm not sure. Second season right off the bat as well. And uh, looks like they're going to be introducing Ren. <laughs> Ooh, 20 seconds is all I need, baby. <laughs> Do we not watch the trailer for this? I... There was a teaser. I remember there was a Chain Soldier season two teaser. This is post credit. Did we not see this? I swear to God, we were, were we not locked in enough? Oh, oh, finally, I get to see this I shot animated. Everyone's favorite dog Shit. owner is coming back, baby. Who wants to go walk the dog, guys? Who wants to go walk the dog? I'll be or the dog, by the way. Honest, I'll probably watch a few episodes just to see, just to see Ren, just just to see Ren. That's 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 pretty much it. Ren's one. Chain Soldier was pretty fun. It was definitely a Coomer Bait show, right? The nature of Chain Soldier. You're a fucking slave. You're a slave for the girls, and they all ride you. But, like, the action sequences, mm, the CGI fights were kind of mid. I love Tenka and what she was doing. The soundtracks were fantastic. The plot itself is actually pretty deep. Well, deeper than it seems to the point where I'm actually immersed into the story. So I think I will, you know, start watching Chain Soldier again. It's just, it's just the fucking nipples, bro. It's just the nipples and how I can't watch that on Twitch. So I got to go over to Kick to do it. That's the annoying part. But it's, it's all right. It was entertaining. I give it, like, a solid, like, seven out of 10 at best or some shit. One of my favorite girls for My favorite Chain Soldier girl is Tinka right now, probably. Ren a lot, but the adaptation of Chain Soldier from what I saw, it was okay. It definitely did not hit as hard as the manga did. And this is turning out to be more of a read the manga kind of deal with- Every anime is an advertisement for the source material. Just like Classroom the Elite. How many Classroom the Elite enjoyers? They start watching the anime and they start realizing that the anime is simply a tool used to advertise the light novel. That'll do it. Scenes in the anime that if it gets animated, I'll just, I'll just go out and watch the scenes of the anime, which I definitely will with uh, Ren scenes because uh, what Ren's more can you ask for than more voice acting and uh, sound effects. But getting back into Isekai, we have more Isekai announcements. If you didn't know, Suicide Squad is doing a spin-off series Ooh. that is set in an Isekai premise. I reacted to the trailer for this without even knowing what Suicide Squad is, and I got kind of roasted for not knowing the characters. Fair enough, though. But it did actually pretty well. There seems to be a pretty big audience looking for this based on my analytics, so I'm definitely going to check this out. And uh, this was a pretty fucking big announcement because you might recognize someone who is doing the ending theme of the Suicide Squad. Oh, uh, VTuber, uh, Kali, Kali Ope. Yeah, she was fucking, yeah, that song was actually good. But isekai anime by Studio Wit. That is right. Kali, Bori Kaliope is doing the ending theme of- Why, why is XXX Tentacion mixed with Kali here? What is the, what is the meme? I'm not really- I'm I'm a VTuber like a uh, uh, orbiter I guess I don't really know much too about it but w what is the association here bro what is the meme here I I'm, I'm I don't know the culture. Op is doing the ending because she raps and X raps, but there's plenty of other rappers. Theme of Suicide Squad the anime and I could not be fucking prouder I didn't know this was coming she didn't tell me any of this shit so uh, I, I think there's a new trailer out let's have a look let's have a look at this uh, let's have a look at this trailer. The voice acting is so good. God damn, the direction, man. The direction. Oh it's so good. God. It's so good. It's looking pretty good, huh? Oh my God. The framing. The goddamn framing of the this, thighs? man. I didn't know it was thigh day today, man. Oh, we are we, we are so not ready for waifu Harley, man. We've got the smug faces and the crazy faces. Oof. Yeah, that's the one. It's kind of edited, but. Oh, okay. Oh my god, this, I'm, I'm- It's actually so cool how, like, VTubers are also getting more, quote-unquote, mainstream, you know, put into big corpa gigs like this, you know, producing openings, endings for animes, right? Even 7th Prince right now, I forget which one from Niji Sanji is doing it, 
but uh it's, i think it's from the japanese branch right reincarnated as the seventh prince opening it's actually really good and and, and vtuber did that as well i'm looking at this and i'm hearing this and i still can't quite believe this man this is so surreal i mean anime and Warner Brothers have now gained the power of the Hololive fan base as well. They, they have got Waifu, Harley Quinn, and uh -oh. also the They're collective getting too strong. power of the Hololive fandom as well. This is this is becoming too powerful. This is this is becoming too powerful now. I, what more can I say? This is absolutely insane. When I saw this announcement, when I saw she announced this on Twitter, I still remember the time, the first time meeting her, all the way back when I started getting into the VTuber rabbit hole. And I can't relate. seeing her <laughs> career progress to where it is today, doing the ending theme of that, and actually seeing her in a high profile production yeah this is insane to see how far her career has progressed and she has just started off just doing rapping her past life i probably shouldn't talk about her name or stuff like that but it's, it's not a secret right she started off doing you know rapping and then i think like um she then tried to do vtubing with whole life she struck it gold and she still makes a lot of you know um rap and then people think it's cringe you can assume whatever you want i think at the end of the day number is the only thing that matters and now she's getting into these big corporate roles. I think that's actually really cool. It's actually insane that you just started off with like a random YouTube channel and then you got all that and now you're on the fucking big screen, you know, doing an opening for Suicide Squad. That's actually huge. And uh, Callie, I am goddamn proud of you, girl. Moving on, Beastars is coming to- Beastars is- Okay, this is not Isekai. Neither was ne ne neither was Apothecary Diaries. Giga fucking baited me with the Isekai fans are eating good this year. I got fucking clickbaited. It is what it is. All right, Beastars, are we gonna watch this? I don't think we're gonna watch this. Are we? I heard it's actually good. I I mean, we're already watching Hell of a Boss Husband Hotel. That shit got a lot of furries. Like that. This is actually complete furry enemy though. It, it's actually like complete furry. Like should we fucking should we watch it? <laughs> For the me, I don't know. I I I don't know when this is airing. To this anime will split across two cores. Oh shit, it's two cores, bro. Fuck, that's a lot of content we could be farming. <sighs> Listen, I might test my toes in the water and see if these stars might be good. To an end as well with their final season. They have just revealed the new trailer for the final season of these right. stars. No release date. Yep. Well, I'm not going to watch this part because I don't want to get spoiled by Beastars, you know, uh, content in case that we watch it. But hey, Beastars is uh, coming back. And if you guys are Beastars enjoyers, let me know in the comments. Do you actually want to watch this? At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is that you guys tell me that you want to watch Beastars. And if there's enough people, then I'm going to try it out. Okay, Overlord News. And y'all know the deal with Overlord in my channel, right? The reactions will happen. It's just, when is season five going to come out? Just like ReZero, I am planning to stall and delay Overlord as long as possible so that my channel grows and grows and grows to the point that I can fully maximize and milk Overlord for everything it got. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I gotta do what's in my best interest. Overlord has a new anime that is coming out this fall. I guess movie. we are not seeing a new season of Overlord immediately. We are getting to see a new movie for Overlord. Now, here's the thing about the movie and a potential season five. I heard a lot of people are saying... Uh, the movie is gonna be season five, and it's, mm, season five is not gonna come out. I don't think that's true, right? Do you really think that the story will just end with the movie? There's no way. They're probably making a movie to either do some kind of Demon Slayer, Mugen Train kind of deal where you do a movie, then you then cover the episodes after that, or the movie itself is canon. And then, just like how SAO Ordinal is, right? Between season two and three, they do a movie that's canon, and then they progress with actual um, anime st standard episodes because the movie content is probably not... There's not enough to stretch out for, like, a full episode duration, right? I think that's what's happening, and Demon Slayer. Y'all, Kimetsu no Yaiba, what are y'all doing? Y'all are crazy making the Hashira training into fucking eight episodes where every episode we're doing some... We're bullshitting around throwing fucking goddamn ten airplanes into the fucking sky with Tanjiro and Muichiro. Like, what are we doing? They, that You can tell that they are padding so fucking much. They're just stretching what doesn't exist. You know that fucking meme of, like, the Disney where, like, uh, the bread slices are so fucking thin and you slice it and slice it? Like, oh my god. I feel like Demon Slayer right now is kind of getting that training as the continuation the overlord the sacred kingdom movie bring and we're gonna skip this part because i do not want to get spoiled regarding overlord news and then what is the next content after overlord what is this this is still more like voice actors i guess for overlord related stuff no this is k -On. 
This is Kaon. Hold the fuck up. What is this? What is this? There is a new anime movie from Naoko Yamada, who is making a new movie with okay. Science Saru. Now, this is the Why director is of Kaon, Heiki Story. I've never seen Kaon. Is that. But it's like a famous slice of life anime, right? And uh, most notably for me, uh, a silent voice. So she directed a silent voice. I don't believe this is the same studio. This is Science Saru. So this is a different studio. The movie okay. is called Kimi no Iro or Your Color. The story centers on Totsuko. A it's high a music girl anime? You can see the colors. Kaon versus Hibike Euphorium. Or what, what is it called? You know, Euphorium, the girl with the saxophone thing. Which one's better? I'm gonna I'm fucking start some. Start making people fucking mad. Kaon? Or Hibiki Euphoria with <laughs> Hibiki better? Butch, Butch the Rock, that's right! Butch the Rock clears easy, not nah, this. Kaon, Hibiki, nah, bro. Butchy the Boulder, bro. Of the emotions in people's hearts. Oh, I, hope, I, I hope she don't look at me, man. I, I, she attends a mission school in say, Nagasaki Google? in order to keep her friends and family from feeling dark feelings. She worries, reads situations, and even lies to smooth things over. At an antiques bookshop in the corner of the town, she meets a beautiful woman with an incredibly oh. beautiful color and music beautiful woman she meets a beautiful woman already <laughs> y'all smell that <laughs> i smell yuri incoming loving boy trying to put together a band the story follows these three sensitive people who gather together and play in a band so it looks like it's going to be a nice i don't know maybe feel good maybe we've got some drama in it's there girls, i know boy. if it's anything like what she can direct i know she can get the emotions out of me man let's have a look at the trailer to see if this is going to be more wholesome right. or more drama all right, all right. Oh, the art style is so different. Okay, this is gonna be the vibes, man. This is gonna be all the vibes, all of the vibes in this is show. Is it gonna I be like happy this already? This is the kind of atmosphere that makes you feel nostalgic for something that you've just never experienced before. Y'all feel nostalgic right now? Just, I'm, I'm, I'm such a sucker for this kind of thing, man. I probably can't get nostalgic over this, even though he said this is the shit that you get nostalgic for shit that you haven't even watched before because he's watched Kaon, right? He's probably watched that kind of content before. I'm not really too familiar with this artist. I'm a, I'm a fucking degenerate isekai trash weeb. So I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. Who knows? You ever have like a vibe like this where you start feeling like really good and really nostalgic, but for some reason it just makes you want to like cry a little bit? You're feeling so I feel that when I'm watching Code Geass right now, or maybe even Beyblade. I feel that when I'm watching Beyblade right now, it's just like, even though I've never seen it, it's just like striking my heart to my childhood. It's like reliving my fucking childhood right now. Good that you kind of just, you just, you just kind of want to cry because of how wholesome of a time this looks, man. Oh, oh, this is getting me emotional already in the in the trailer, man. And this this has all the callings of the sh that is just going to make me cry like a goddamn baby. And it's and this has all the callings. I can already see it, dude. This anime, objectively great anime probably, but my audience will not give a fuck if I make a video reaction on this. It's gonna fucking fail because we are a bunch of shitty 7-Eleven pizza enjoyers at three in the morning rather than five star, four star fucking, you know, restaurant Michelin star. Especially if it's going to be from the director of a silent voice. I am sold. And even that song, even that song at the end. All right, moving on to more trailers. One what of my it? favorite manga I've read Metalist anime. What is this? The anime that's gonna be Yuri on Ice with actual Yuri with the girl this time? I think it's last year or the year before was Metalist, and that has just got a new trailer. This right. is an ice skating anime. This is not Yuri on Ice, but this was one of my. It's not Yuri on Ice, but it may actually have Yuri on Ice. Favorite manga that I read a while ago. No I'm Yuri? Two years ago now. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Scary coach. Oh, oh. Holy shit. Just ice skating, Damn. Man. All right. Okay, All right. the spins look good. amazing. We're looking good. Who's uh, who's animating this? Studio Engi. Don't know. Done. All right. Anything? Uh, isn't this pretty big? The the. Oh, is this Nozoki Senpai? I forget. It is Uzaki. Uz Uzaki or something. Oh, Kimi Zero. Yeah, Kimi Zero, uh, Unnamed Memories. Here's Unnamed Memories. That's the familiar one right now, right? Unnamed Memories. And Oto, hey, Mob Seka, bro. Oh, so you guys probably can't see this, right? Mob Seka's right here. Uzaki is pretty huge. Kimi Zero, Unnamed Memories, right? Y'all know that shit, right? Of note that I can see, aside from Medalist, no, not so, so good. much right now. So this seems like a relatively new studio. The animation. Giga hasn't seen Mob Seka. 
Wow, sick as fucking peak, bro. From what we will show, still looks, still looks decent. I am very, very excited for this. One of the reasons I'm very, very excited for this is the way they write the children in this is. So what do you mean? Cook? I've never seen a more realistic portrayal in anime and manga to how they write, like, children. Normally, when you see anime children, it's like Anya from Spy Family, who is very cute and... But they are immature when they need to, but as mature as an adult when they don't need to be. I know what he's trying to say. Sometimes, like, the representation of kids, it's like, they should be dumbass kids, but sometimes they're, like, functioning adults. And it's like, what, what, what was that, right? I, I, I think I know what he's trying to say. Very adorable, but as my friend Didus likes to say, she is just a minion. One of the best things I think- A minion? <laughs> She's a minion? Gigok hates Spy X family. That's the fucking title of this video. This does is it really hampers down this message that we constantly- Oh, the minion from Gru. I've never actually seen the minion movie or Gru. The fucking, this is it called Despicables, right? How does the Despicable minions act in a fucking cracked way? They're like, you know, they're, 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 they're just crazy, right? They're not As kids. Adults, we constantly underestimate what children can do sometimes. We constantly underestimate how capable our children can be. And it turns into some of the most emotional moments that okay. I've read in manga when you like see the development of this really, really shy girl who doesn't have a lot of confidence in herself. And you really see her come into her own and you see her get confidence and prove the people around her, prove her own parents wrong. If you want to feel like damn, that was a fucking great save. Not that there was anything to save in the beginning, but like that whole commentary about representation of children and how realistic they can be and overcoming the challenges and getting approval from, you know, your fucking parents and stuff like that. that that's pretty good. Like a proud father. Read okay. this manga or watch this anime because that's what it's going to make you feel like. It's not going to make you feel like, oh, look. <laughs> Let's get serious. How many weebs here wants to be a fucking proud father, bro? First of all, anime dads are always fucking gone to trying to get some fucking milk and leave their kids behind. But even the people that watch anime, I don't think that we are the prime demographic to be, you know, starting families or, you know? Y'all are more 2D better in 3D. <laughs> Fuck them kids. I don't think anyone is going to be able to relate to being a wholesome father watching this. But hey, maybe there's an audience for everything. Look at Anya. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, no. Watching this is a more convincing reason of like why it's awesome to have children and grow up and see what they're capable Yeah, I'm sure it's awesome to have children, but it's fucking expensive. I can barely afford to fucking exist. How the fuck am I going to bring a new life on board and handle that, bro? Shit's too expensive for kids. That's why the birth rate's going of more than every other daughter father bait anime that i've seen so far all right next up we have a teaser trailer for, for? a new anime visual for days with my stepsister can you guys guess what kind of anime this one's gonna be based on the title hmm days with my stepsister i wonder what this anime is gonna be about guys Anime that's coming out called Days with My Stepsister. Um, I saw this and I was like, this is getting an anime peak for a <laughs> After his father remarries, Yuta suddenly finds himself with a new stepsister, Saki, yeah. the greatest beauty at the school. Oh, oh all okay, right. Okay. Of course Actually, it awesome. is. All right. Neither of them is sure how to act around the other at first, but the two gradually grow more comfortable living. But this is like not even on domestic Kanojo level, right? His domestic girlfriend. What was that plot? It goes beyond this, right? Because it has this, and then it goes beyond with the mom being like the teacher or some shit. It, 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 it's, it's beyond, it has this formula, and then beyond, right? Together, slowly, cautiously, patiently, two strangers become more. So begins an unlikely love story. <laughs> what, do, what do you mean become more? Two strangers become more than that? You're fucking step siblings right now. What do you mean become more in an unlikely love story? What is up with Japan? What is up with the anime and incest themes, bro? Every fucking anime, it teases incest, but sometimes they'll just straight up try to do half incest shit. Yeah, I know. They're not blood related. I understand that, but it's, you can pretty much understand what they're trying to fucking tease, right? They ain't even teasing us with this one, man. They are just coming out right out the gates. They're like, yes, this is exactly what it says on the tin, I guess. Let's have a look at this trailer. <laughs> Hold up a second. Hold up. Wait, hold right. up a second. Why right. does the directing on this not okay. look like your typical chicken nuggets run of the mill seasonal anime? <laughs> Wait, are they actually trying with this one? Wait, is this, this going to make me feel things? I doubt it. 
anime. You can't just put some emotional piano notes over that title, man. <laughs> just, this don't fall for the fucking bait, guys. Don't bait. Don't fall for the expensive packaging around Mahoka season three right now. What's the packaging around it? Lisa, Lisa opening, amazing visuals, amazing ending songs, different ending for each arc, right? The openings, the trail, they all look good. And, and then what happens when you open the present? Ew, what the fuck is this shit? Don't fall for the packaging. You gotta actually see the content. They're revealing the title like this is this is the next Oscar bait, man. Okay, actually, actually, I'm I'm interested. That uh, didn't look trashy at all. That looked. <laughs> mm -mm. So we have a speech episode. We have a summer festival, you know, yeah, episode with the confession scene that gets drowned out by the fireworks and the girl trips and breaks her ankle. Then piggyback ride home. Yeah, come on. Come on. This ain't our first romance, you know. It's really, really wholesome, actually. What the f are, are they just debating us with the title? I need to know more about this. Maybe anime. it's good. Okay, well, the series composer. Manabu ni. What a resume. Wait, whoa, 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 what was that? Whoa. What was, what was this? What, what, what resume about this? Rent a girlfriend. <laughs> Can we please restart Rent a Girlfriend on our channel? I'm begging y'all. I am begging y'all. Can we start to Rent a Girl? I know it's bad. I understand, but it, there's. It's really fun when you watch a shitty show together and laugh and roast at it, bro. It's so good. It's a totally separate experience. You, you, you watching Rent a Girlfriend by yourself is gonna be a terrible experience. When we watch it together and shit on it together. The amount of fun we can have is better than watching objectively good anime. That's what reaction content is. Rent a girlfriend. Whew, what a resume. Sasaki Tomiyano. I recognize this. Oh, it was this one. I don't know this. this. Was also, another yeah, wholesome BL romance as well. All BL. right. Well, I, I actually might be enjoying this one. Cinderella stepsister too, bro. Don't stop. I'm already sold. All right. Moving on to the last piece of news for today. I believe this is the second Oscar that anime has won, and of course. Giga really fucking. Is there any more isekai stuff he's gonna talk about? Cause he's fucking front loaded the initial bit with the isekai, and now he's just talking about random other bullshit. You fucking baited me with the title. It has gone to Hayao Miyazaki. Okay. Boy Heron won Best Animated Feature at the Oscars. Good for and you. This makes me happy, but also makes me sad just because Why? we don't know if it's possible that anyone other than Hayao Miyazaki will be capable of winning an Oscar in the anime field. I just. I was gonna say, just wait for him to die and someone else can win, but that's not it. It's about who can actually get there. Him being in the picture or not doesn't fucking matter. Uh, I don't really care too much about this. There is Monogatari series though. There is Monogatari series here though. What is this? Hold up. Series made. Fans that do not know about Monogatari and the legacy that this series made. There's a whole generation. People have been telling me to watch Baki Monogatari. It's a bit too yapping, even though the yapping is good for my audience, I think. I would like to watch Monogatari. Maybe it can be a Patreon exclusive. I don't know about YouTube content. Generation of fans that do not understand the shaft head tilt, man. Only the real ones remember the shaft head tilt. <laughs> oh, I'm ready for a some movie? peak dialogue, baby. All right, who's making this? Oh, it's the OG team. Studio, Studio Shaft, shaft. Akiyuki Shinbo as well. Oh, we did it, boys. Not that Monogatari got a second season. You know what we should be celebrating? We've done it. We're going to get the anime man to watch anime again. It's going to be weird seeing them. Anime man only likes Monogatari series. Is, is, is this true? He doesn't like the shitty isekais like uh, Giga Genos? Watch anime again. It's going to be weird seeing them graduate from high school and going to the university arc. And what, what I hope that... Thank fucking God we've graduated high school and go to the university arc. Because I've seen some sussy ass shit that is happening back in, you know, the stuff. Yeah, there's some kind of... I don't want to talk about it, toothbrush, but like it, if we go to college, then it seems like, you know, it's, it's probably better, right? We see a resurgence of Monogatari memes. Monogatari kind of had such a big impact on, you know, light novel adaptations in general. It had su it, it was really? an adaptation of a light novel that was almost all dialogue. This is a You're telling me that this is the beginning of how light novels started to get actually animated into, you know, anime? Mbaki Monogatari series, the Monogatari series kind of like pioneered that? Very, very dialogue heavy show. And it has such a unique directing style that made, one, the dialogue was already really, really fucking engaging. But even though all you would see characters doing is just talking they somehow had a unique direction style that was very very and this is how classroom of the elite should be in the anime right and i myself has said multiple times about how in a show where it's all about yapping and not action you probably don't need budget therefore i'm kind of fine with the anime adaptation of classroom of the elite but but if you have seen kaguya sama or even monogatari series 
you know that even the talking scenes can be very engaging with the way they do the yapping. You need to want to actually chart itself. That made the dialogue itself really, really engaging. Hey, stop! If you are like, hey, I don't That's want to scene, read I a think. light novel. I want to watch an anime. Monogatari is like, if you watch this with subs on, JK, you're actually still reading a light novel. Don't worry about it. <laughs> One of my favorite memes is when you take different scenes and you edit it like it's it's Monogatari. <laughs> like, like, like this one. Let's they see got it. this so spot on. I can't do it. Breaking Bad but Monogatari. Oh, back frame! Let's go! Let's f***ing go! Tower of God trailer. Is there, is there a new trailer? Is it still the same anime? Oh, no, 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 Tower of God, Tower, Tower of God, Tower of God, No, 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 careful, careful, no spoilers yet, no spoilers yet. We are covering Tower of God right now, and we're locked in season two. Oh, that was careful. Woo! Gee, how are you just gonna immediately do that? Oh my god, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, we, we, we skipped it. Oh, la, 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 la. And I, I think that's about it, right? Okay, okay. So, I, I don't really care about it. I don't know. Actually, this seems to be uh, like a um, sports anime. It's a badminton anime. But hey, Tower of God is coming out. We are covering it right now in our channel. We're gonna do like a whole episode, you know, 1 to 12 marathon or 13 or something. You guys wanna hear about Blue Box? You actually wanna hear about Blue Box? Alright, fucking fine. I'll, 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 I'll see. I'll, 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 I'll do it. Mikey what, what's Blue Box? Not from afar, but he doubts that she sees him in the same way. Yet somehow he musters up the courage to tell her to never give up on her dreams after such a bold declaration. So, love story based on the passion of dreams born for in sports. Creation, will Taiki's fleeting high school romance finally begin? So okay. we have another teaser trailer. Of sports romance. Uh, I prefer my... I, I, romance being the focal point, I'm not too sure how that's going to go. I think there was an anime called Baby Steps. Because, like, Prince of Tennis, I think, is, like, the Kuroko no Basket, right? Magical shit going on, all kind of bullshit happening. And that's hype. But then there's, like, Baby Steps, which I hear is focused more on the character motivations about how they want to achieve their goals and romantically align. So uh, maybe romance and sports being the highlight is good. I don't know. Blue Box, which I heard is pretty hyped up. But guys, we've we've already seen a hype romance anime trailer today. Come on, come on, guys. Can it can it beat? Can it beat? What's the name step of it? Step brother. My stepsister. Step sister, like sorry. That? Blue Box too good. I don't know. Does it have a stepsister in it? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. It looks this, pretty. This is a sports anime and a romance anime as well. Yeah. It looks really really pretty. Yeah. I'm I'm interested in this one. TMS as well. Last year seemed to be very very favored towards high profile sequels that topped all of all, all of like the uh biggest anime of the year this year seems to be like a breath of fresh air because it seems to be like we're getting really well this year because like this current season is like the fucking season of sequels with all the fucking isekais we're watching a lot of new ips and okay. new anime that are looking to be good so I'm, I'm very very excited next season looks to be completely stacked and we look like isekai bros are eating well today and we're gonna keep fucking eating isekai up baby hey uh, I'm trying to figure out new type of content to do on this channel. I think that commentary based on the anime content that we're watching and Giggle reactions always kind of do well. So let me know if you guys enjoy this kind of content. Go like his channel or sub to his channel if you enjoy it. And yes, we are when I watch it. We are watching T Tower of God right now. Please check out the Tower of God playlist if you're interested. And we will be on schedule just to make it in time for season two in July.